KTM 1290 Super Duke GT First Ride Review The State of the Art of Ultra Sporty Sport Tourers The Super Duke R is blessed with one of the greatest motorcycle engines of all time, and the GT gets a revised version of KTM's 1301 cubic centimeters V-twin engine. It's purported to push out the same 173 crank horsepower and 106 lb feet of torque as the SDR, but it hits its torque peak 1000 revs sooner, 6750 rpm, and is said to have no less than 86 lb feet available at just 3250 rpm. Credit a new cylinder head with narrower intake ports and reshaped combustion chambers. All that said and we haven't yet gotten to the new bones of the GT. The headlight is pushed forward and mounted on a nylon composite bracket that also supports the sharply angled fairing, windscreen and the video instruments we're accustomed to seeing on KTM's fuel capacity is upped from 18 liters to tour worthy 23, 6.1 gallons. At the rear, a bespoke subframe is built from aluminum tubes, a structure that supports a longer pillion saddle and integrated mounts for the saddlebags developed internally by KTM rather than using off-the-shelf bags. The panniers are optional in Europe but standard in North America. The V-Twin's exhaust note is sweet and mean, with a stimulating verbal on overrun. The noise from the titanium Akrapovic slip-on doesn't sound much different from the OEM muffler. Vibration from the 75-degree twin can get intense at high RPM, but it's not an issue at cruising speeds. It's spinning at 5000 RPM at 85 mph. The foot pegs do without by defeating rubber inserts, which shows that problematic vibration wasn't evident during the GT's developmental stage. Additionally, Traction control and MSR are linked, so if you want the TC off, you'll have to also deal with no MSR. Meanwhile, Ducati typically provides 8 levels of TC, which can be set independently, and 3 levels of engine brake control which can be set individually. KTM allows a rider to switch off TC, which is nice if, say, you're a wheelie hound, but it always switches itself back on when the engine is shut off, even when leaving the key switched on, necessitating another trip through the menu system. While the GT's MSRP hasn't yet been set, it's expected to retail right around the $20,000 mark when it becomes available in the US in September or October. At that price, it'll be about $2,800 more dear than its older brother. And while one certainly